I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours learn how they can grow their business by means of the web. Now, maybe you're looking for how to embed a YouTube video. YouTube have changed a few things, but I'm going to show you in this video now how you can embed a YouTube video, how you can add that code into your website or WordPress website. And then the second tip that's really useful is how you can make that code so it's responsive. In other words, so it fills your phone, it fills your tablet, or it even fills perhaps a larger screen, like a large monitor or a laptop. And in that way then, your video is going to look great on everyone's screen. So with those two tips, look forward now to my lesson. So I've written this blog about how to make uh, logos and how to design them, but I also have a video on YouTube that I now want to embed into my article. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how you can embed a YouTube video and how that works. And then secondly, I'm going to make it then responsive so that it works on mobiles and other devices and fills a screen, which at the moment YouTube doesn't do. So if I go to YouTube and if I search for my video, which is called tips on how to design a logo and enter that in and hopefully my video will come up. So there it is from Zanet Design. And if I now click on my video, um, the, bit, the bit we're looking for is where it then says share. So this is the way that you can then embed a YouTube video. So it can be any video, um, but in this case, I'm going to embed, embed my own video. And apart from sharing it with uh, other forms of social media, you can click on embed. Now, if you had a particular area in the video that you wanted it to start from, you can click this and you can put how far into the video it is. But in this case, we're going to go to embed. And uh, this is the thumbnail of my video. And then here is an iframe. And that code there is a code that we need to embed the YouTube video. So that's really the first part of this tutorial. That's how you go about it. Just click copy or copy and paste. Uh, you can add the start. You can add uh, player controls and a few other things as well. So I've now got my iframe. If I now go to my editor, and then the way to drop this in as an iframe is to click on here and to go for custom HTML. Uh, if I now paste in that code, that iframe, and then if I update it, we'll then be able to see how that looks once it's uh, updated on the website. And you'll notice at this point that the YouTube video, uh, when it uh, shows live, so if we now go to view the post, you'll notice that the YouTube will appear, but it'll be small. And this is like a standard size. And this isn't ideal because uh, when you've got perhaps larger pictures that fill the image, uh, fill the screen, it just looks a little bit out of place. Uh, and of course, if you then go and shrink it down to say a mobile device, it just shows this kind of black area. So it doesn't fill the screen in a similar way that uh, the images do. So if I make it larger, you'll see this image fills the screen, but this doesn't. So how do you make it responsive so that it fills the screen for mobiles, for, for say devices of uh, tablets or iPads or whatever? How can we do that? Well, it's just a little bit of code that I've written that will help you. It's really simple. So just bring this in here. Um, let's put it on a blank background. Uh, and all it is is you put the iframe of the YouTube video so I'm going to put that in, paste it in there. And then around it, you put just a div and you give it a class name. So this is div, uh, an open div and a closed div here around it. But we're going to give it the class name. Now I've just given it responsive YouTube. That's what I've called it. You can call it whatever you want. You could call it X, Y, Z there. But whatever you call it there, you then would apply it as a class here. Now what this is here, if you're not familiar, is CSS. So if you've got a style sheet, that's uh, used in your website. We've got an area where you can edit, edit some styles. You just need to then copy and paste these two styles. And you just need to make sure that this here, so responsive YouTube, and this here, responsive YouTube, is the same as what you're using here as a class, responsive YouTube. So as long as those three things match, then it'll work. So I'm gonna now edit this, put this into um, my editor. So let's just go to that, bring this back up, and I'm now going to put that then around my my iframe. So in effect, there you go, that's what we had. 
that around it. Responsive YouTube. Now I've already put the style sheet in my uh, WordPress website. Uh, you'll have various places where you can put that in your style. I'm now going to update it and just notice now how this works quite differently. And that little bit of code makes it fully responsive, your YouTube website. So if I now uh, go back to here, you'll see now it's totally um, fills the screen. And uh, if I shrink it, notice how it, it really delicately goes in, fits in with its surrounding images. Uh, you see the whole video. If we enlarge it, again, it's fully responsive. And that's how you make a responsive video. Now, if you want uh, to have those, um, that CSS and that HTML, well, then I will include this as a link through to my website where you'll be able to copy and paste this in and then you'll be able to follow exactly what I've done. So hopefully that shows you how to embed a YouTube video, but even greater still, how to make it responsive when you put it into your WordPress website or any other website that uh, you're using. But even more important is also having the right videos on your channel. And that's a whole new strategy that I'm also looking at at this time. So you'll want to make sure you see this video next and that will show you what this new strategy is. I'll see you there.